Hello, Osmosis community. Uh, my name is Jake Kim, founder and creator of both Alphorex and many things. Um, before we talk about the what ION and the future use cases, I first want to introduce about myself briefly and what I'm going to talk today. Um, I've been into the Cosmos space since 2019, um, starting from several hackathons that I both won in Seoul and San Francisco. And I founded a company called Everett. And Everett, uh, Josh and Tony were the co-founders of Everett and founded a wallet called Kepler that he got his all, all using. Um, part of the team got acquired by Terra and I was part of Anchor and Terra in the early days. After leaving in Terra in 2021, I created a studio slash labs called Many Things and AlphaWorks on um, building stuff related to the NFTs and Cosmos. Now, what I'm going to present today is about ION. So some of some of you guys may know what ION is, and some of have never heard what ION. And I'm going to talk about ION from the scratch, and the potential use cases could be done through the ION DAO. So what is ION? ION is basically a second native token on Osmos blockchain, and the total supply is 21,294. Um, the community at ION loves to call um, 21,294 club. And due to its affiliation with uh, Osmosis, currently ION token has a large community size now. The Telegram chat uh, um, has about a 1.4 and the Commonwealth is about 1K members who are actively discussing and talking about the future of ION tokens. Yet, um, the stage is where we all agree on util uh, adding the utility to the ION, but we're trying to figure out what are the right candidates and what are available right now. So to the ones who might not know what ION is, I want to briefly talk about what ION, where ION started and where it's currently heading towards. First, it's, um, in order to explain how ION started, uh, borrowing the Sunny's word, um, since like Osmosis and AMM, um, team needed a pair token aside from the Osmosis, um, which is called the Tesla token is called the ION. Um, instead, of, instead of redacting those tokens into the mainnet, the ions went live and gave, gave an airdrop to our, uh, to our wallet uh, and get, I had a snapshot uh, that was taken in February 18th. Um, so I, ions were dropped to those who either voted into the Cosmos governance and who, some who delegate into the SICA validator. And these whole airdrop and you know, utility sounds just like an ordinary meme token, but it's actually a meme token with no utility. Uh, however, it's, it's still interesting because it's a very good opportunity for third-party developers that already has a community in it and the market cap and people want to add utility. And so I can just hop in and build a new utility. So I've, I, I, asked, I asked Sunny and I volunteered to add a DAO function into it. And that is called an ION DAO. So from an ION DAO token, um, token holders could be able to vote on what utility could be made and can, can be decided on the on-chain parameters of the future protocol. And these ION DAO, um, this will be actually um, live within this week. And if it passes the osmosis governance, now it's going to be um, the ION token holder that will sovereignly decide the future of utility. Isn't that exciting? Yay. Okay, um, so is, um, is ION important? Um, yeah, um, this slide is mostly my pure personal opinion. Uh, if you see the left side of the slide, uh, it's a De DeFi application stack uh, for Ethereum. Based on, these, uh, based on the base layer protocol, which is Ethereum, uh, there is a core DeFi application such as lending, decentralized stablecoin, um, AMMs. On top of that layer, um, 
like any other DeFi applications, leverage these protocols liquidity to bootstrap their DeFi applications. So similar approach can be seen in osmosis, but it's kind of slightly different. So now we have a osmosis blockchain uh, that is handling the consensus layer plus the a AMM and that provides the liquidity for the new applications. And top of that uh, base layer, uh, we have Marsh protocol, the lending protocol. And the other stacks will appear sooner or later. And this will become an independent zones for sure. And by observing this, this stack, since well, the recent um, Terra USD debacle, now there's a one position missing, which is the decentralized stable coin layer that amplifies the AMM's liquidity by providing the base layer currency of decentralized AMMs. So I think it's probably ION will be handling the um, decentralized stablecoin layer. But is it going to be 100% sure? Um, maybe or maybe not. But there's some steps that you need to take, which is called the um, go over through the ION DAO. And um, like there are actually various design debates going back and forth. And I'm going to share the nominees of the ideas right now. So first is the ionized assets. The proposal came out before the Terra debacle, debacle happened. And the overall mechanism is to bring I assets, which are Oracle pegged assets, such as um, commodities and stable coins. So the mechanism is based on the exchangeability among I assets through uh, ION token and the ION I assets can be instantly swapped to ION through burn and mint. Um, by enabling I assets into the osmosis exchange, the outcome of the proposal expects is that the osmosis can be able to support um, generalized assets um, including the stocks and commodities, but due to the Terra incident, this idea is not major priorities right now, uh, in my opinion. Now, the decentralized stablecoin layer is now the missing part in Osmo, but there are several ideas how to fill in those gaps and uh, how to reach uh, to the uh, decentralized stablecoin inside the Os uh, ION community. So the first idea that I want to share is the Jeremy Parrish idea. I, I just named it as a stable trench. Um, I don't know if uh, Jeremy likes this name, but yeah. So to introduce this idea, I like we had a very long call on understanding this idea. And to explain uh, this idea, it's to creating trenches composed by this bridge bridge stable assets, such as Gravity USDC and Axler USDC, and creating a two different asset tranche. And one type of the asset tranche takes all the risks, and the meanwhile other tranche it gets, it gets to exchange into the whichever bridged USDC that is more expensive compared to the two different uh, um, bridged stable coins. So by creating this trench concept, even if one bridge have failed to preserve its security, the safe trench may be able to secure the stable asset protocol. And then the design, the other design that I personally think is the over collateralized based stable assets like DAI. But basically uh, enabling the stakeable assets as a collateral such as LP tokens or Q atoms, which are um, staking liquid staking solutions for atoms, uh, compared to the maker, the stakeable assets uh, being as a collateral, which makes the uh, protocol and the uh, collateral to actually work and earn some interest by the consensus layer that is going to be staked. This makes the stable asset design to create a concept like um, similar to like a last year's wart, or maybe um, the ion DAO can be able to decide whether these um, staking rewards are be go going through. So if ion DAO holders 
uh, votes that the if someone who stakes ion can be able to earn these um staking rewards coming from the collateral. Um and, and and there are like many different ideas, but I believe these this various kinds of designs are not in the scale of competition. I think it's rather can collaborate in a better idea form. So um if 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 anyone wants to decide or contribute in this idea, um would love to hear and debate on the further proposal. And the third one is protocol and liquidity. And this may affect uh, the total supply of 21,294 uh, that the, if someone um, has the LP tokens in it, um, you give a discounted uh, amount of um, IAM tokens. And when the protocol owns the liquidity, um, the, the, the LP tokens that are in the um, protocol may actually work or be able to affect overall Cosmos SDK's governance by you by representing assets as ion. So ions, if if the protocol on liquidity increases, the ion token can be made able to decide or affect the overall Cosmos SDK's governance. And that's the third idea. And like, I, I, I actually like both three ideas and I think it's up to the um, IAM DAO to decide whether um, the idea will be heading through. And to sum up, sum up these all ideas at last, I actually want to um, um, ask to the um, community uh, about the, the three questions. The first is, can ION be independent zone in the later future? If yes, then when? I, I personally think this is a very important question for um, ION because um, we, believe, we all believe the app chain. And the second one is that, how long can we preserve the supply? The 21,294. Um, and the third question is how can I uh, how can uh, ion token holder uh, accrue value from its um, utility? And this one is actually important. And in order to um, currently um, the design of the ion DAO is to need to stake the his or her um, her ion into the um, staking module in the ion DAO. And then there, there's actually a bonding period, but the funny part of this um, staking is that there's no reward right now. But if the reward's coming out from this staking concept, and it's actually very cool if <clears throat> someone who stakes the ion could be able to earn Osmo, it would be really fun. And these kind of questions need to be handled very concrete in the governance and also in the Commonwealth. So I want to hear your opinion on what you think the ION should be headed through. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate me to tag me on Twitter or DM me on Telegram. And by the way, the, the main name is called ION.WhatTheFuck. So please um, come on in and try to look at the website and cheers.